professional. I'm not sponsored by Nutella, I just really like this shirt. I'm moving soon, and hopefully we'll have a better setup to do these things properly. Okay, a big ol' hefty buck. Damn, boy, he's thick! We're gonna get back to our roots here, okay? I know it's been a minute since I've unboxed anything. You might remember me from unboxing such as the PlayStation Vita and the Xbox Series X. I've probably done more. I don't remember right now. Listen, I'm getting old. You know the deal. I got a knife. And let me see what you have. A knife. No! I got a box. Let's crack into it. Obviously, you already know what it is because you clicked on the title of this video and I put it there. But let's, let's just act surprised together. What is that? Wow. Wow. The box the box came in is also pretty. Okay. Of course, I got the tube back there. Unfortunately, uh, not in time for the Xbox Series X release, but he's coming soon, don't worry. Here we go, let's crack it. <laughs> this is so pretty. I love new console releases. Okay, the boxes just keep getting better and better. This was so smooth that we just popped open, like a little treasure chest. And then the box is right here, sitting in this little cubby. And then in the back, you got a little slot with all the things you need inside. A little pop-out slot, you know what I mean. All these boxes are just getting so much better. And they're like <laughs> the most comfortable coffins for these things, right? Padding everywhere. Come on. Weighs more than my five pounds. This must be 10 pounds. It's only 10 pounds at least, maybe 12. Deal. It's wrapped like a little gift. Slide that off. Somebody has to wrap all of these, you know, like all the care that goes into the packaging before they send them out. Don't think of all the stuff that, all the steps that need to happen before a console gets released and then when it finally goes out into the world, that's it. They have one opportunity to make a lasting good first impression, right? One shot, one opportunity. So you wanna like open that box and feel good that you made the right purchase? It's a lot of dough. It's a lot of dough. Oh. Look at this beast. <laughs> wow. 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 This is so sick, okay. Get a little at the back, all the ports. I mean, it just seems so simple. This black box, this is the bottom of it. All right, I'm gonna show you what's in the accessories. What else comes in the box? Comes with a little pamphlet, tells you how to connect it and uh, where you can go for additional support if you should need. Your HDMI cables, your power cable, your Manuel, your Xbox Series X controller. I'm sure you already know the upgrades that you're getting with this one, but the D-pad here is different. I don't like change! And then you have that share button that's added as well to the middle of the pad. It's so pretty. D-pad looking. Uh, yeah, but the same size other than that. All right, let's compare it to the Elite Series 2. This one does have the share button in the middle. The Elite Series 2 is heavier, obviously, but it's just jam-packed with a lot more arsenal. And you can actually use the Elite Series 2 with the Xbox Series X, obviously. Um, hello, this is a lot of money, so I would be upset if that were not the case. This is a really good controller. <laughs> if you have the Dota Spend, spend it on an Elite Series 2. It's, Shut up and take my money! It's just so worth it. I'm never usually ready for a new console to come out. I just kind of feel like I have a backlog of games to play with the consoles that I already have. So I wasn't prepared for a new console season. Happy that it's here, obviously. Happy to get my hands and be one of the first people to get my hands on 
this sweet, sweet baby right here, I will make a little YouTube plan because honestly, I know I have not been here for a while and uh, it's not fair. It's not right. Y'all subscribe for a reason and I want to give you a little something. So um, yeah, let me know what you want to see. I know I've always been part of the Xbox family and I'm obviously an Xbox gamer, but I also, uh, you know, have PlayStation games and play on PlayStation as well here. We're not, uh, I don't like the whole console war thing. I really don't. I know they're both coming out at the same time and you kind of have to pick one or the other because they're just so pricey. So you have to go with one or the other. Uh, no tea, no shade, no hate if you're going with one over the other here. Uh, I'm just happy that gamers get to have something new in their hands this holiday season. Because honestly, like 2020 has been a lot, right? It's been a lot. We've all been through one thing or another. Um, and it's just nice to get a little something for yourself. So treat yourself if you can. And let me know if you got one. Let me know what you're planning for the new console season in the comments below. Can't wait to dive in with this. See you soon. Okay, I don't know why I'm nervous, but maiden voyage, here we go.